Hello. Hello. Thanks for being uh, in this second seminar, Leading Successful English Classes. My name is Margot Arley, Academic Assistant of the English Teaching Major for First and Second Cycles of UNED. Um, in this seminar, we are welcoming four specialists, Alfieri Avilan, Jorleni Romero, Josue Sanchez, and Octavio Vargas, who will be presenting the latest trends on English teaching, such as the integration of language skills, the use of mediated technology, um, authentic assessment, among others. Before the seminars, uh, before the seminar, participants were asked to work on various exercises on a web quest to activate previous knowledge and to get acquainted with the specialist topics. Today, we are talking with the specialist Jorleni Romero, coming from Universidad Tecnica Nacional, in charge of developing the topic of mobile phones or the use of mobile phones as a fun way to learn English. Uh, during this interview, you can post your questions and we'll be glad to read them for Ms. Romero. Uh, Jorleni, thank you so much for being with us today. Well, thank you. Thank you for the invitation. Um, it's always a pleasure and a great source of knowledge to share with colleagues. Mm -hmm. And um, basically, when you're talking about your experience and things that have worked for you, so this is a great opportunity to just grow as professionals all together. So thank you very much for the invitation. <laughs> thank you. Uh, can you tell us briefly what your presentation was about? Maybe you can uh, give us like three or four relevant points of your presentation. Well, yes, absolutely. My presentation was about using mobile phones in class to learn. So um, it was a workshop. And I carried out different activities that teachers can do in class mm -hmm. when they are uh, with the students, when they are in class, actually teaching a class, mm -hmm. different activities they can do using the cell phones. Mm -hmm. And I also shared a little bit of theory, like mm -hmm. why the cell phones are um, like nice and use, useful tools mm -hmm. to teach. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's basically what I did. Okay. Now, do you think it is possible to work with uh, this type of mediated technology with any type of class? Uh, that is, large groups, uh, students with uh, limited resources. What do you think? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yes. Um, technology is, is almost everywhere, mm -hmm. and people are, are familiar with it. And if not, students help each other. Mm -hmm. Experience tells that... Um, they become very, um, they do a lot of collaborative learning mm -hmm. and um, they help each other. And it's just like, just if when you plan like any class, you need to think about the resources you have, the different kinds of students you have, and you customize your class. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what you do with technology, with the difference that there is a lot of resources that you can use. So mm -hmm. it is absolutely possible. You just need to be creative and think about how you can design mm -hmm. that learning experience using technology. Okay, well this afternoon we are talking with Ms. Jorleni Romero about the use of mobile phones as a fun way to learn English. Uh, remember that you can post your questions and we'll be uh, gladly reading them for Ms. Romero. Uh, Jorleni, what would be the ideal role of a teacher who wants to incorporate uh, technological resources and especially mobile phones in a classroom? Well, first of all, you need to be creative. You need to think out of the box mm -hmm. and, and go the extra mile, mm -hmm. you know, because that, that means you're going to bring a change in your classes. Uh, you need to believe that you can do it and use all the resources, even your students can be your resources. Mm -hmm. And uh, just like when, with any other class, when you design your class, because that's what we do, we design classes, it's like an art, and then you just think of all the different tools and the different, uh, when we talk about mobile learning, we can use apps mm -hmm. and, and many other resources. And that, that's, that's the only thing that we have to do, right? And believe mm -hmm. and that it's a, a useful tool and, and just dare to make a change. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's what it requires. And uh, well, you need to keep on learning a mm -hmm. lot. 
actually that's a it's also a challenge because you have to read and watch tutorials and mm -hmm. uh, learn about different tools that you can use mm -hmm. uh, but that's basically like the only thing you need to do just believe you can do it mm -hmm. and think that you can really bring fun to mm -hmm. your classes using a mobile mm -hmm. okay uh, miss romero one aspect that one uh, has to take into consideration is the benefits that the population can get from the use of mobile phones as a fun way to learn English. Um, do young learners tend to benefit more from the use of mobile phones than uh, older students? Well, not really. I would say that all of them get benefits. Mm -hmm. You know, all of them gain from fun classes, active and creative classes the only difference is that for young students it's a little bit easier okay. because they are more familiar with technology mm -hmm. and uh, it belongs like to their everyday life mm -hmm. so it's a little bit easier mm -hmm. than you know like for for the older ones it's a little bit more difficult it can be sometimes but they help each other amazingly mm -hmm. it's amazing how mm -hmm. they they get involved mm -hmm. in and work as a group and help each other so i would say that you know it doesn't matter whether you're young or a little bit older the benefits are for everyone okay okay and in regards to some teaching considerations uh, how can teachers address their students uh, different learning styles because we know that they do have different learning styles so how can a teacher address that difference well just as you address them when you plan a regular class mm -hmm. you just have to think about the different learning styles mm -hmm. and uh, look for for uh, let's say uh, activities or mm -hmm. apps or uh, tools that you can use using your mobile phone you know like to tackle the mm -hmm. different learning styles but it's just the same it's a matter of good planning creativity and just willing to sit down and think mm -hmm. and, and come up with these creative ideas that we teachers have okay well <laughs> as conclusion uh, we understand that oh we do have some a question yeah, we want to say hello to Seccional ANEP OPAS okay. that is tuned in. And um, we found some interest also, you know, there is this explosion of new platforms such as, you know, like these ones that advertise on cable television. Mm -hmm. What can we learn about these experiences of international uh, teaching platforms that are selling services through cable television that work through the internet and how can we learn from them or not learn from them to do our work better here in Costa Rica? Well, I would say that uh, those are excellent experiences. Most of them are very professional, so we just can't but learn from them right so they always uh, give us ideas on different things that we can do mm -hmm. but most of all they give students the chance and learners the chance to be in contact with the language anytime anywhere mm -hmm. and that that would be like the the best benefit mm -hmm. you know like uh, you can just be connected and exposed to the language and keep on learning as I said, anywhere, anytime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, absolutely they are like excellent sources of, of information and, and um, places where you can really practice and learn uh, um, anytime. Mm -hmm. Now as conclusion, uh, one can say that uh, teachers, English teachers, uh, need to reinforce the use of mediated technology uh, to improve uh, their students' uh, English level, right? Um, however, uh, to successfully accomplish this goal, it is necessary that an English teacher considers, for example, the, the size of the classroom, uh, the number of students, their age, uh, their English level, uh, and even their learning styles, right? Correct. Okay. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Ms. Jorleni, for being with us today. Uh, if you would like to post a question or if you would like to know more about this topic, uh, you can uh, contact Ms. Romero at yromero at utn.ac.cr. So thank you again, uh, Ms. Jorleni Romero, for being with us in this seminar. 
And thank you for uh, staying with us. So see you later. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you. <laughs>